podcast is being brought to you by Don Johnson State Farm Insurance. Activate Don in your life and experience the impact. Why? Because Don Johnson is a visionary. She's determined, people focused, a problem solver, and she's generous. Visit DonJohnson.net and DonJohnsonCares.com to learn more about her work with the people and the community. Does Don Johnson do too much? Maybe, but that's just Don. She loves the people and she is a change agent. So make sure you stop by Don Johnson State Farm Insurance located at Rock Hills, Manchester Village off of Dave Loud Boulevard, 572 John Ross Parkway, Suite 106, directly across from TJ Maxx and in between Sweet Frog and the UPS store. And don't forget to tell them, Mr. Dark, I sent you. What it is, great people. The home of motivation. To trust God and live your dreams. All right, what it is, great people, you know who it is. I am Mr. Dark Eye. You tuned in to the Mr. Dark Eye podcast right here on Anchor FM, New Soul Music, the home of motivation to trust God and live your dreams. As you know, we're talking to Bell Prize participants coming through to share their stories and their experience with Bell Prize. And continuing this, coming into the studio today, well, now with me now is the wonderful Jennifer Moore. She was in Bell Prize when I started in 2019, right? You was in the yep. first one. Yeah. 2019, we won the originals, the OGs to oh, it. Geez. Yes, <laughs> that's what we is. So um, you business owner, entrepreneur, tell the people what your business is and what you do. Okay. Well, my day job, I am an educator. Um, okay. I teach middle school. Yeah. And also, I have a salon suite in my business. It's called Gen Beauty Locks. I am a uh, micro lock stylist yeah. and a regular lock stylist. Okay. Okay. So you did your own? I did not. Oh. <laughs> I don't even retie my hair. No, it's too much hair. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather relax and let somebody else do it so I can enjoy it. It would just take me too long to do it. So I don't do my own. <laughs> All right. So, how, how long you been doing hair? Um, I started my business, um, I would say in June of this year, 2023, and I have just hit the ground rolling with it, and Mm -hmm. it's been a phenomenal experience for me and for others, and it got started, um, I had my micro lights installed last year, so it's been like a little over a year, Mm -hmm. and what was happening was I was running into women that was like, okay, who did your hair? I love your hair. It was like this day in and day out grocery store, um, somewhere out exercising, um, just being around, you know, women in general that look like me and just wanted that freedom. They love, what is it is, what is it? And they wanted to know. So what originally happened was in Publix, it was a lady. She said, stop right here. I'm not letting you go until you tell me who did your hair. Whoa. So long story short, I realized there was a supply and demand. Yeah. Um, I did my research and before I got mine done and I realized that, hey, we have a lot of women that want their hair done in this type particular style, but there were not enough stylists to actually um to commit to doing installs. And mm-hmm. so either they were booked for the year, mm-hmm. six months out, because I think I waited about six months to get mine um, installed done. And, and that's that's pretty telling on mm-hmm. what that need was. So mm-hmm. I was like, hmm, let me do some more research to see if anybody's doing any training or classes for that. And that's what happened. And okay. that's how it was birthed. Okay. <laughs> well, that's that's amazing. So how did you hear about Bell though? Like what was your introduction to that? Who told you about Bell Prize? Um, I would have to say that it was Don Johnson, of course, a mm-hmm. friend of mine, and um I was pretty interested in the whole concept of what that was because I still have um some ideas in mind in my head in writing now mm-hmm. that I've never really pursued because I didn't know how to go about doing it. 
And with that being said and done, I had more a, of a technology idea about something that I know there's a need for. And I still have not given up on my dream of getting that pursued. But for Bell, just to write out that business plan, to put it all in writing, has helped uh, me to see in detail what that need, need how it needs to be pursued and the details of um, the ways to go about it. Um, what to consider mm-hmm. and the growth, the um, just to kind of look forward and how that could be proceeded and to grow and mm-hmm. how much it's going to cost just to see everything in writing has helped tremendously for that dream. So it's just right now on a back burner. Mm-hmm. I'm still going to pursue it soon. Mm-hmm. And um, with that being said, done, done, I can think I'm just very grateful that I was able to experience that through Bill. Yeah, it was it was definitely helpful. I think everybody saw the information that was given the most valuable even before the even whether you won money or not. Right. You know, the information because I I think I myself personally was just out here doing what I thought needed to be done. Mm -hmm. And you just taking stabs at it and just seeing what would work and what wouldn't work. But the information that was given, I think a lot of us was like enlightened to know exactly how you're supposed to do it, the right way to do it, and all the the stuff that we never know, that we never knew. So I think the information was really the most valuable stuff because even the people that came through that donated their time to share with us the stuff they specialized in through them workshops, I yes. thought that was dope because – you don't really get a lot of people to share just willingly information with you like that. Got you. Got <laughs> you. Don't, you don't. I, I think we need um, more than just Bell, though. I mean, of course, there's other outlets and other resources out there because we learned that through Bell. Mm-hmm. But it's just a lot of people that don't know um, about what's out there. They help them. It's a lot of business owners that probably want to get started but just don't know how, and then they just kind of stuck. But, and Bell um, has been that pathway. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing I can remember um, with one of the, um, I guess we'd call the teachers of mm-hmm. Bill, mm-hmm. was that if you're in here to, you know, do it for the money, then mm-hmm. you're in the wrong place. Right, right. And the conceptual part of it, to make sure that you understand that you're fulfilling a need, mm-hmm. um, the scope of the need and where it needs to go and how to implement that. Because we can have ideas in our heads and our minds, but to kind of put that in fruition, to put those ideas in writing on paper, um, sometimes that can be taskful, but it makes sense to do it. So you can see everything from the beginning to where you want that to um, end. Um, And that has been a tool for me just starting my own business to make sure that I understood that I'm not going to quit my day job mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. because, yeah, I got so many people who want the interest that I can make this such and such a money, whatever. No, I know that I have things that I need to take care of. If I have the hustle to do it, um, to work weekends, work on the days that I want to just rest and relax and release. And I knew that I had to put in the work to do it, to get it to grow because I will be retiring in a few years. So I realized that I need something else to fall back on Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, in case I don't want to go out of, you know, go into retirement and go back into the system. So with that being said and done, I knew that there was a need there. And, and I'm also got some other ideas that I know there's a need for as well. So Mm -hmm. it's, it's just that part. Because, mm-hmm. you know, the market of what people are waving, they're trying to get go for the money and not looking at that that potentially can ruin their lives mm-hmm. and the lives of others. Mm-hmm. And there's always a consequence for that. Yeah, there's consequences for all actions. Mm-hmm. It definitely is. Um, so where so where do you I know you said, um, you know, you got you know, you teach and you, you say you obviously you love you love teaching. You like teaching. How long I you do. been teaching? Oh, um, I've been teaching for many, many years. Long, long time. So you say, because you say you ain't going to get that up. Yeah, yeah no, go ahead. I, no. It's not, it's not. Okay, so, but when it comes down to um, your business, um, what's what's a goal for you next? Um, like, you know, I know you, you kind of touched on that, but like what's, um, it, I mean, because is there, 
how big you want to go with that? Like, you just want to kind of keep it as a little. Right now, um, I'm keeping it really basic. Okay. Because there are other um, avenues that I want to do to um, eventually expand it. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to keep the wave because the supply and demand is kind of going shifting a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you kind of kind of keep yourself current on what's going on in that industry to see where people are marketing because we're still supply and demand with weaves, um, wigs and braids and all of those things. But is it really healthy for our hair? Is it really healthy mm -hmm. for our scalps? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you got to sometimes give it up. It's like, you know, for females, you know, when we, you, when we're kind of um, conducive to being used to wearing wigs and weaves mm -hmm. and stuff, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to take that, that helmet off, I would say, <laughs> that <helmet> weight off, <laughs> yeah. and you kind of feel negative, like without your jewelry or uh -huh. being without yeah. your glasses or something. Yeah. Like, wait a minute, I just kind of feel exposed. Right, right, um, right. But my job right now is to to really embrace where they are. Uh, let's get your hair to a healthy state. Mm -hmm. Um, I can, you know, just really get them to understand. Even you know, someone asked me, "Will you ever do extensions?" And I said, "Well, I don't discredit it, but." I know that extensions for micro lock extensions is not healthy for everyone's hair texture. Right, right. It depends on your hair density and the hair porosity, and, and it may not be for everyone. I'm not just going to do it because I can get extra money for it. Right, I right. really want my clients to be happy, and I re really want them to be to model mm -hmm. um, what I have crafted into their hair, mm -hmm. into their look, into their beauty regimens and to make sure they understand that. And I also um, have extended to athletes um, because my son, he has, you know, locks with a high fade mm. and it was hard for me to find him an appointment. Mm -hmm. So I actually do after hours, after practice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's what it is, thinking. <laughs> yeah. And also extend that to weekends. If I work Sundays, I work Sundays. I'm there for you on Mondays. Whatever you need, mm -hmm. I'm there. And mm -hmm. I've made that um, as an extension for those busy moms and dads with um, athletes. Mm -hmm. So it works out. So are you the only one? Do you have other people working in your in your shop with you? I don't. Oh, okay. I don't. I, I rent a salon suite. Okay. Uh, we have a braider. And we have a um, full service um, nail tech mm -hmm. um, mission. And with that and said it done, it just works. Mm -hmm. It just works. And I don't have a lot of products. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. I basically use water and oil and some, you know, some things for um, those that want their palm rolled or mm -hmm. for the retire. But other than that, the, the salon guy comes around and say, you need products? I'm like, no, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. But well, that's good stuff, though. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff. I mean, and I, I think that, the, 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 you know, getting locks and stuff like that, uh, I think there's a lot of people are going that direction now and locking up their hair and doing that. I think uh, – to me, I think it looks good. It does. You know, it you does. Know. And I still have my wigs and weave, but I they call it maybe quicker. once or twice with it. But I'm like, hmm, I can just get up. If I can wake up like this, mm -hmm. oh, my gosh, my day is done. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. So are, are, are you? Um, I know that they're getting ready to start with the uh, the next round for Bell Prize. You participating in that in any kind of way? Possibly. Okay. Possibly. In what way? Um, you don't know yet? With probably my same idea. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. With the same idea, same concept, um, but yeah. just in a more, um, I guess you can say more way of expanding mm -hmm. what I didn't do before, mm -hmm. um, building that business plan a little differently, thinking a little um, differently of how to go about doing it because now I know and mm -hmm. I have more of wealth of information. Right, right. That is still needed and still nothing has been done about this issue right. that we have in America. So mm -hmm. hopefully not only will it be for just South Carolina, but hopefully that idea, if it expands or when it expands, mm -hmm. it'll be nationally as well. So Okay. D did you participate in, 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 in the part two, round two? Did you come back? I did not. Oh, me neither. I did not. I did. I didn't either. I just. I just took the information and just applied it. I figured what I. If I did come back, I was come back when, I've 
built some kind of level of value to what I'm mm-hmm. doing. And then, you know, cause for me, a lot of them was asking how, um, about proof of concept of what I was doing as far as like being in the music industry. Mm-hmm. So I figured that I would do that and then come back. So I'm, I'm planning on participating of course in round three, but then I'm also going to be helping out with some workshops too. Yes. Yeah. So I'm yes. going to be helping um, teach a little bit about the business model canvas because I felt like that's a great tool for business owners. It was yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. it's phenomenal. The organization I'm over for my students. Mm-hmm. And when I looked at the unit plan of it, I was like, wait a minute, this is a business plan. Mm-hmm. I'm like, gosh, this is a business plan. You yeah. can keep this. You can market this. You can do this, that. Yeah. So yeah. I sell them with, with that all the time. Mm-hmm. And that business plan model is just phenomenal. It just it makes sense. It does. It gives you opportunity to kind of see all the moving parts of your business on mm-hmm. paper. And you can show it to someone mm-hmm. rather than just talk about it. You can show yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. So. Like, this is my business model. And then um, it simplifies it for me because I know when I first got introduced to it, I was able to, you know, fill in all those blanks. But I know, of course, at first you just going in and putting a lot of stuff down there. But it's process elimination. Right. And simplifying it, narrowing right. it down. So yeah, it was definitely a um a, um a game changer for me. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that mm-hmm. along with participating and coming back to see if I can win some capital this time. Exactly. And we are believing God for it. We are. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <laughs> well, uh, Jennifer, thank you for coming through and sharing your story and experiences with Bell X Pri- Well, Bell Prize. It was X Prize when we started, but now they changed. They, I think there was an issue with the name, so they had to drop the X. Gotcha. So, but yeah, Bell Prize. I don't know if I really was doing a good job of sharing and telling people what Bell is, but it's the Black Entrepreneur, Entrepreneur Leadership League organization in Rocky, South Carolina, right. uh, where they focus on folks that look like us, mm-hmm. they help us in this world of being entrepreneurs and business owners. And Dawn, I'm going to have her come on and share even more information because I know her and Tatian and do a great job of, of of sharing all the different things that they do they in this do. great organization. They so, do. but yeah, but definitely if you're an entrepreneur, business owner, and you're looking for some assistance, Bell of Rock Hill is the way to go. Ring the bell. And you will get some assistance. So, again, thank you, Jennifer. Thank, thank you, you for you. having me. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, you. You're a most And I'm welcome. so proud of you. Oh, wow. Thank you. I'm proud of you, too. <laughs> well, thank yeah, you. I see you out here grinding, All doing right. your thing. And you see how good our hair looks. So this is a this is, this is is a presentation <laughs> of what you're going to get when you go out there to her shop. So thank you. thank you all for watching and listening. This has been the Mr. Dark Eye Podcast. We're going to continue to talk with Bell Prize participants and have them come in and share their story so stay tuned for more of that and always remember to trust god live your dreams what it is great people the home of motivation to trust god and live your dreams